everybody, Trevor here. I decided to make this video because my last one about bad reboot shows could have been a lot better. What I mean is, there are certain parts that I didn't elaborate on very well, most notably my thoughts on the Proud family louder and prouder, which many consider a bad reboot to the original show from the 2000s. You see, I got a complaint by a user named Played Zebra, and he told me that I only judged it by one episode and that I didn't give the show a fair chance. And you know what? He's right. I should have done more research on why the new show sucked. And to be honest, the original Proud Family did tackle serious subjects like disabilities and prejudice. However, unlike that show, which was actually funny and tackled most of those topics well, the new show, on the other hand, just feels like they're preaching too much on political agenda. I don't know, I just normally don't like talking about politics that much. For example, there was this new character named Maya who was like a bad influence on Penny and her friends. I mean, she's so unlikable. She's also a stereotypical social justice warrior, like for example, she was the central character in the Juneteenth episode where she leads a protest, which eventually leads Penny and her friends in prison. Though, it was never really explained in the show how they got out early. Fun fact, Maya and her brother Keiji were the two children of two gay dads. Not that I have a problem with gay couples in general, but the show is acting like it's a big deal. There was this one scene where Oscar was uncomfortably watching the two gay fathers attempting to kiss each other. When it comes to the episodes of this show, my least favorite will always be Curved, in which they do a rap song called Slaves Built This Country, and yes, I got the name right now, you don't need to remind me again. This one tackles the touchy subject of white supremacy. Now don't get me wrong, I do believe that all men, women, and trans are created equal, and I love all races, especially black people, but here, they're making white people feel bad about themselves. Not all white people are racist, and that's the worst stereotype in my eyes. At least the original show tackles most of these serious issues better than louder and prouder in my opinion because the 2000s were a different time back then, and they didn't try to shove that kind of stuff down our throats. Another touchy subject they tackled was the episode Bebe, in which it was revealed that Bebe, one of Penny's younger siblings, has autism. This is a good topic to tackle, but the way they executed it was just weird. I mean, they failed to show what autism really is. It also kind of feels like they're treating the autism topic as a punchline in this episode, which is not a good thing. Trust me, I have autism too, and I'm sure there are other shows that tackle this better than the Proud Family. Besides, autism is a gift, not a disease. It's incurable, and we all must live with it. And yes, I know the original show tackled this one too, but it's as mediocre as the Bebe episode because it describes disabled people with one character trait, and that they are disabled, which is just bland. Not to mention that the kid in the wheelchair is just unlikable and rude. Now, if there's one thing I hate about both the original and the reboot, it's that they treat Oscar Proud as a punching bag. This is called a butt monkey, which is a device where a character was tortured in the name of comedy. In my honest opinion, whenever I see a butt monkey like Oscar, I can't help but empathize with that character because they deserve better treatment than what they've got. Look, I know he can be strict sometimes in this show, especially when he tells Penny not to date boys, but does he really need to be treated this badly, especially by Sugar Mama? As much as I love Sugar Mama because she's funny, but I really wish she would show that she loves her son unconditionally more often, just like any mom would. Some of you guys might be asking, where's Sticky Web? Well, he used to be one of the main characters in the original show who was seen having a crush on Penny Proud, but in the reboot, he just makes a silent cameo due to troubled problems. Oh, and about the race swapping and gender swapping thing I've mentioned in the last video, I know that has nothing to do with the Proud family, but the reason I brought it up in the first place was as an example of a woke mindset, which is one of my biggest pet peeves in modern day society. Sorry for confusing anybody here. However, there are a few good things about the reboot, as stated in the last video. I'm proud, no pun intended, that the voice actors returned, and I loved the wonderful animation in this because it's more vibrant than its predecessor. It's also good that the creator of the show came back, but that doesn't excuse the unlikable characters and the political agenda they're trying to shove down our throats. 
And yes, I still stand by my opinion that the reboot isn't as good as the original, but if you enjoyed it, that's fine. Just as long as you're not being anti-white or something. But hey, this show is nowhere near as bad as Da Boom Crew in terms of concept. That show was a massive flop, and it only lasted a few episodes. Alright, let's talk about one more reboot, and that would be The Magic School Bus Rides Again. One thing I regret not mentioning in the first place was the fact that Phoebe is absent in this and was replaced by an Indian girl. I mean, come on! I like Phoebe! She's cute, charming, and very smart. I especially miss her catchphrase, at my old school. I believe the reason I didn't mention that in the first place was because at first, I thought they brought her back eventually in another episode, but I guess I was wrong. I should have done more research on this one, too. Oh, and speaking of kid characters, the ones in this new show pretty much have the same exact personality. In the original show, each kid character has a different persona and catchphrase, which makes them very interesting in the first place. But here, almost all of them have the same exact bland personality. And not to mention, why does Miss Frizzle need that orange monkey with her on every trip? Why couldn't she just bring Liz instead? Because after all, Liz is a very memorable character. Well, anyways, those are my further thoughts on bad reboots, particularly on the Proud Family and the Magic School Bus. I hope I've elaborated enough on those, and if there's anything I could have done better, please let me know, but no harsh criticism, okay? Because I don't want that to happen again on my channel. And yes, I still make mistakes, just like everyone else on this godforsaken planet. And it's my job to take criticism from fans and friends if I did something wrong. I will eventually make a top 5 good reboots in the future, but I need to do more research first. I have thoughts of good candidates for reboots, but I want you guys to let me know which reboots you think are good down below. This is Trevor the Blue Pony, signing off.